Well, good afternoon. I have, you know, I enjoy taking a little time out with you and sharing this time. And, and I'm sure that somebody out there that's watching is getting blessed because uh, the Lord lets me know that and my spirit. And, and then uh, we hear comments from people. And uh, it's always good. So uh, give us a call. And 971-269-7641. Uh, and uh, give me a call. That's my number, Pastor Dwayne. And uh, I'll be glad to talk to you. Or uh, drop in on a Sunday morning and let us know. I saw you. I, I've been watching. We had someone come to here recently to Sunday morning service and said, I've been watching online. And uh, because we do live streaming of the Sunday service, as well as uh, over the coffee cup through the week. Today I want to talk to you about no fear. Don't be afraid. Fear causes people to have heart attacks. I had a heart attack. I don't know what fear that I know of. But anyway, uh, I'm alive and well today, thank God. But in the book of Psalms, Chapter 20, verse 7, says, Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. That takes us back to First uh, Samuel, the 17th chapter. The children of Israel were living in fear. Uh, the Philistines, who were uh, an enemy of God's people, had an army, and the leader of their army, his name was Goliath. <laughs> now, he was like seven feet tall and, or something, and, you know, and, and yeah, it was over not seven feet tall, or nine feet, excuse me. And uh, his... Uh, I, I, I was reading about it and it said, he wore a bronze helmet and his bronze coat of maul weighed 125 pounds. Uh, <laughs> you know, his, his, uh, uh, his, the spearhead weighed 15 pounds. Uh, and so he was a big guy. And he was telling the children of Israel, he said, you're going to be ours. We're going to take over. And so they're camped and ready to fight, but they're scared to death. They're afraid. Out of the crowd, because he was not there fighting, uh, a young man by the name of David, and most people read about this before, but there's something here that we need to see, and I want to bring that out today, and that is don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't trust in your abilities. Uh, don't trust in other people. You know, I love people. But I've had some people that I really had confidence in that kind of let me down. And no doubt I probably let some people down too. You know, not knowingly I didn't. But anyway, he goes to visit his brothers who were in the army. And he said, what's going on? And they told him, he said, is that guy out there? We up there, he's laughing at us. He's making fun of us. He's going to take charge of us and all that. And David said, wait a minute. I'll go against him. And I can imagine what went place, took place around David's brothers about that time. And this hurt him. They probably begin to laugh. You don't even have a sword. You don't have a shield. You're not experienced. And you're just a little nothing. He said, in fact, go back out there and take care of the sheep where you belong. And he said, look, you don't know it, but I, I've, been, I've been confronted with uh, other animal life who wanted to destroy the sheep, and I handled that. You did? We didn't know that. He said, i tell you what. So he finally convinced them 
to let him talk to Saul, who was the king. And he said to Saul, I can take care of this. Well, in the course of conversation, now, one of the things that stands out here is not how he did it or what, but the fact the driving force in David was no fear. No fear. You know, many years ago, I was a missionary in Alaska. I felt like I was supposed to buy an airplane. I didn't know how to fly an airplane. Cut through a lot of stuff. I, I did buy it. And I completely rebuilt it. I didn't know anything about that either, but I did with some help. But the time came, I had to get from Colorado to California to Alaska. And my father told me afterwards, when I left California, my uncle, who was a pilot, who had a twin engine airplane and all that kind of stuff, fancy, he said to my parents, he said, Dwayne is either the craziest man I've ever seen or has got more faith than anybody I ever met. Because I was in a 1941 model, Taylor Craft, with a 75 horsepower engine, and it didn't even, you had to prop it. You couldn't even you know, push button start. And I was going to fly that to Alaska. I had never made a trip like that. But you know what? I never even thought about being afraid. Because I knew that I could do it with his help. And so I was depending on that. And so that's David. He steps up, he said, I can take care of this. And the Bible says, teaches us, that he had his, a pouch of five stones and a slingshot. Now, if my understanding is correct, it was not, you know, we used to make a slingshot with a fork of thing and rubber bands on it and what have you, and you'd shoot it. This was the kind you go like this over your head with it, and you let go. He stood up like, and with his slingshot, and Goliath began to laugh at him, but he wasn't afraid. He was on a mission, and he knew by experience that God was going to help him, and so he cut loose and let go of the stone, hit him in the head, and he dropped dead. Well, the Bible said he ran up after he lay in there and cut his head off. Anyway, I'm going to tell you, you may not be facing a giant, and you may not be facing even a, a bear or anything of a physical nature, but in your head and in your mind, you're afraid. Quit being afraid because God is for you, as I have spoken at other times. So don't be afraid. The victory is yours. Trust him, and he'll carry you through.